What's up guys, Justin here from TheRenderingEssentials.com. So in today's video, I wanted to talk about system requirements. I would say I probably get the question about Lumion system requirements more than any other question I get on this channel. So I figured I'd just go through and kind of show you where to get the information you need, talk a little bit about my system, and uh, go from there. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. Okay, so as a lot of you know, when you first open up Lumion, the first thing it does is it runs a benchmark. And you can see how you can see the results results of that benchmark down here below. So in this case, everything is green for me. That indicates that everything's ready to go. But I wanted to talk a little bit more about what those requirements are and what different results you might get. So to get more information about that, you can start off and you can click on this bar right here. That's going to show the results of your benchmark. And so you can see how in this case, everything for me is in the green. And I'll talk about my PC specs a little bit later, but I will note that it's really important that you have a computer that can run Lumion and that meets these benchmark requirements. Because if you have a computer that's going to be all in the reds, um, that's going to be, you're not going to have a very good time when you're working in Lumion. It's just not going to run super fast. And so to start off, let's talk about where to find the system requirements for Lumion. So Lumion actually has a section on their website where they talk about system requirements. And I will link to this page in the notes down below. So we have lumion.com slash system dash requirements dot html. And so you can see how that is going to show you what's required on your PC. So if your question is if Lumion works on your current computer, you can definitely download the free trial and run the in-program benchmark. So that'll go through and that'll actually test your computer and uh, your actual hardware and it'll give you a result. But that does require you to download the entire free trial of Lumion, which is a fairly large download. So if you don't want to do that, you can actually scroll down to where it gives you your system requirements here. And there's four different tabs running between simple designs to ultra complex designs and this can be a little bit confusing to look at but um, if you click on these different tabs you can see how like for example um, your requirements for ultra complex design like like um, really big projects with lots of trees, um, lots of different interior stuff like that, that's going to have a pretty high requirement. So in this case you can see how this uh, for the ultra complex on the highest end this is looking for an NVIDIA GTX 2080 or 1080 Ti. Those are both very high end top of the line graphics cards um, as well as a minimum of a uh, Intel Core 7 processor. So that's also a very high-end processor. And it's actually asking for a higher RAM as well. Um, so you can see how this has 32 gigabytes in here. Now if you're not doing ultra complex huge designs, there's definitely other things in here that you can look at. Like for example, um, if you're just doing like a complex exterior or something like that, you can definitely run something like an NVIDIA GTX 1060. And uh, you can see how the other requirements, the processor and the system memory stay the same. And then um, if you go down to simple designs, you can see how the lowest graphics card that I've seen that's recommended by Lumia is the GTX um, 1050 from NVIDIA. And this one also allows an Intel Core 5 processor, so as well as only 8 gigabytes of RAM. But um, it does note that... Um, it does note in here that this is more suited for a smaller building or interior with limited details. And so the other thing I wanted to draw your attention to is there's actually a really great blog post on Lumion's website. And I will link to this in the notes down below. It gives you a ton of information on different PCs and things like that. So it's called Lumion Computer Advice for Faster 3D Rendering. And it goes through and it talks about um, all your different graphics cards. So it gives you a list of, I have an open budget I can pay for whatever I want, all the way down through my budget is tight and I want to do smaller scenes, so it'll give you some options there, as well as some different options for some different desktop computers. So, and uh, I'm not 100% sure how up to date these are, but this will give you kind of an idea of what the range of computer is that this will allow. And so this also talks about different laptops that you can use, so if you want to do Lumion rendering on a laptop, you can do that as well. So, and it does talk a little bit about custom computers as well. And then if you scroll down, this will tell you uh, kind of some times that you can expect with different pieces of hardware. So it does a comparison of how long it took to render this scene with uh, multiple different uh, different computers and things like that, ranging from like 20 seconds all the way to 60 seconds, things like that. 
So if you're looking for information on things that are going to work with Lumion, this is a great blog post to read. And then now I want to talk a little bit about my system and what I'm running because I get this question a lot. So I figured I'd go ahead and talk about it. So the desktop PC that I'm running is a cyber power PC and I will link to this one, but I'll note that the one that I have actually is a uh, older model. It has the uh, GTX 1080 in it instead of the the RTX 2080, but um, it has the i7-8700 processor, 16 gigs of RAM, and the uh, GTX 1080 Ti, and it runs everything pretty well. I will tell you that I even with that one, I can hear the PC kind of spinning up and heating up when... Um, when it's running the complex scenes in Lumion just because there's so many different points and things like that. Now that being said, you don't need a top of the line computer like this. I got this also for VR gaming and uh, I needed to be able to render those faster frame rates. I also got it on sale on Black Friday, but either way, I am super happy with my desktop PC. I really like it. Um, it's really great for things that I'm doing. And then from a laptop perspective, um, I'm actually running an MSI model. So I'm running an MSI GS65 Stealth Thin. So, and uh, my GS65 Stealth Th Thin has the GTX 1070 in it. Um, so that's pretty much the highest end graphics card that you can fit in a laptop, as well as the i7-8750 processor and uh, 16 gigs of RAM. But again, that is a very like top of the line um, computer. You don't necessarily need something like that. And in fact, if you're not looking for portability, I might recommend that you go with something a little thicker because this is an ultra thin PC and when you do renderings and uh, more CPU intensive things, it definitely heats up. So it's very thin. Um, I really like how thin it is and how portable it is. I've been able to run VR off it as well. Um, but I will say that it does heat up and you might want to think about something that's a little bit bigger because they can just do more with the heat sinks and the fans and stuff like that. So if you're looking for a little bit of portability, not an ultra portable, maybe get something thicker, but I do really like this laptop. And so if you're looking for something else, like something a little more like budget that fits more the, um, that more fits the kind of medium requirements, um, something like maybe the cyber power, I'm not sure which one this is, like the GXI VR, a5. So this one has the Intel i5 processor in it, and it also has a GTX 1060 in it. So that's slightly higher than the uh, minimum requirements for Lumion. So, and you can see how this is less than half the cost of the higher end PC. So a lot of that cost is tied up in the graphics card. So if you did want to go less expensive, something like that, then you could definitely look at a PC like this as well. Now you will need a monitor and uh, you will need a monitor in addition to this. This doesn't come with the monitor, but this will give you an idea of kind of the caliber of PC you need to be looking at to meet those requirements. So I will provide links to all of this stuff in the notes down below. Hopefully this is a little bit helpful to you. You do not need the most expensive high-end PC, but you do need a fairly powerful PC in order to create those complex renderings in Lumion. So that is one thing about Lumion is it is very powerful, but it does have very high system requirements. So leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought. Was this helpful to you? Um, hopefully this information helps you get you where you need to go. Um, so if you ask me the question in the future, what kind of PC do I need? for Lumion, I'm probably going to link you back to this video. But like I said, leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought. If you, um, if you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. Remember to click subscribe for new rendering content every week. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it. And I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.